Lauren Famous sang Never Enough in the Hugh Jackman movie and the 32-year-old scored the golden buzzer in the first episode of this series. But many fans of the hit ITV show were unhappy and called it a fix as Lauren was already famous and had had a recording contract. At the time Simon Didnt addressed the furore but as Lauren came back for her semi-final on Thursday June 2nd, he referred to the scandal. Judging Lauren after she performed gospel song You Say, he said, I also know you got a bit of stick in the media saying, oh, it's a fix because you have been on another show. He continued, well that is the whole point of shows like this, you give people a second chance. We haven't had a female winner this week so far, I hope you change that tonight. Simon added, I think what you have done even by coming on the show is incredibly brave. I am frustrated because that WASNT long enough, instead we had these weirdo robots that lasted forever. Alicia Dixon said that Lauren had just as much right to be on the show as anyone else and that she had to work harder than other contestants to prove herself. David Walliams also said he felt he was looking at the future winner of Britain's Got Talent. Lauren is certainly on her way to that as she was named the winner of the semi-final in the episode's closing moments. She will be joined by five star boys in Sunday's Live Grand Final. They sent home the Phantom who finished third. But while Simon was quick to point out to viewers that there is no fix at play, many fans were still crying that things had been rigged to favor Lauren on Twitter. Some claimed the producers put Lauren in an otherwise lackluster lineup of semi finalists to try and ensure she made it through to Sunday's final. One tweeted, Let's make sure the act we can invest in goes through by putting her on with all the ST, and people say this ST ain't fixed. A second vented, I'm sorry but how is it fair that Shush is allowed on the show when Shush is already signed? Think they've put all the rubbish ones on tonight so that she gets through easily. The only good ones apart from her were the dancing boys. A third added, having a millionaire celebrity on this show get the golden buzzer is so incredibly unfair on the other contestants. A fourth chimed in, if the greatest showman woman wins I'm no longer watching the show I only periodically okay rarely watched.